If you're traveling to Picture Rocks National Lakeshore and you're planning on climbing some of the ice formations along the lake, it's absolutely vital that you and everyone else in your climbing party knows how to safely ascend a rope. Most of the time you're going to be climbing over open water and there's no easy escape route. So once you rappel in, you're fully committed. With that being said, let's take a look at a few different ways you can ascend a rope. First method I'm going to show you uses a belay device that has guide mode. So I'm going to attach that to the rope real quick here. It also uses a Petzl tie block. Now I'm going to go ahead and put up on the top of the system. Additionally, you're going to need slings. You can tie them together if you have to. And I like to use another carabiner to get myself some mechanical advantage uh, to pull the slack through my reverso that I've got here. We also need to clip this sling that you're going to stand on into the locking carabiner that is attached to your Petzl tie block. You'll also need a locking carabiner attached to your belay loop that's then attached to the guide mode slot in your belay device. Make sure everything's locked down. Then you'll want to attach the rope coming from your belay device back up through that carabiner attached to the tie block. This method does take a bit of practice to smoothly do. It's not the fastest, but it'll get you up and out in a pinch. So, to do this, essentially, you need to slide up the tie block, up the rope. I'm going to take out some slack and sit down on that rope. And then I'm letting the ATC hold my weight. I'm going to slide up the tie block, pull up, sit down. Slide up, pull up, sit down. So the advantages of this particular setup are one, it's lightweight, two, it's a small compact package that's easy to carry along with you on those long days in the backcountry, and also it's very affordable. The disadvantages is that it's not the easiest method of ascension. It takes a bit of practice to be able to get this thing dialed and quickly get up the rope. Our second method of ascension is going to use two different ascenders and also some aiders. So I'm going to clip my first left-handed, they are left and right-hand specific, so make sure you look at that when you get them. Uh, I'm going to clip my left one on the rope and go ahead and put a carabiner through that upper hole to make sure there's no way this thing possibly comes off. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my personal anchor, you could use a sling or uh, whatever you've got on you to improvise here, make sure you've got a locking carabiner right through that bottom hole. Next, I'm going to take an aider and I'm going to clip that right in through my locking carabiner off my personal anchor. Basically going to repeat that process on the other side of the system with my right handed ascender here. Clamp it on the rope. So these things work pretty well because it's got nice big old hand holds to work with, which is good when you've got winter gloves on. It's going to take my other aider, clip it in here, as well as my other sling. All right. On my upper of the two ascenders, I'm going to go ahead and step into the bottom loop here. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to step one more loop up on the other side. It's a little tricky with crampons on, but you'll get the hang of it with some practice. Make sure everything's locked down and secured. And then off you go. The advantage of using this method is, first of all, 
Nice big hand holds to grip onto. It's good when you have cold fingers and you're wearing thick gloves. Uh, additionally, they slide nice and easily up the rope and they work pretty well with icy ropes. Uh, downside of this setup is just that it's a bit heavier, uh, a bit more gear to carry out to the backcountry climbs. Our third method, and my preferred method many times, is to use a Petzl Grigri and an Ascender combination. So I'm going to go ahead and install the Grigri onto the rope. Use a locking carabiner right off of your belay loop. Make sure you always lock that thing down. I'm also going to attach one ascender. In this case, I'm using a left-handed one because I'm right-handed dominant. That's going to help me out a little bit later in the process here. Attaching a carabiner through the upper hole on my ascender. Make sure it doesn't come off of there. And also, my personal anchor is going to go ahead and go through the bottom hole of the ascender. I'm going to go ahead and need a Another sling of some sort or foot loop, you could definitely use an aider as well for this, um, but a lot of times the sling works just fine. So I'm gonna clip that into my locking carabiner on my anchor, personal anchor. And then I'm gonna put one more carabiner in there as well to help redirect and Give me a little mechanical advantage taking the slack out of the Grigory in the setup. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down on that thing. I'm gonna get my foot into this loop. And to progress it upwards, I'm gonna just pull up on that upper ascender and stand up and sit down on the Grigory. Push her up, sit down, and repeat that process. So, one of the big advantages of using this setup is that we can quickly change from ascending to then descending again. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of this foot loop here. I'm going to take off my carabiner as well that's redirecting that rope. And even though the Grigri is an assisted braking device, make sure you always have your hand on the brake strand of the rope or tie back up knot if need be. I'm also going to go ahead and take off this upper carabiner and I can disconnect my sender and I'm ready to go down. That simple. Once again, the advantages of using a Grigory and a Sender combination are that they slide easily up the rope. It's also very quick to switch from ascending to descending. Uh, it's important to note that the setup doesn't work particularly well with icy ropes and it is also a little bit heavier as well. So what we covered today are just a few ways that you can safely ascend a rope. Uh, acquiring and having these skills is extremely important if you do plan on going in the backcountry. But just remember, it takes a lot of practice and you should have some further instruction on these methods. Every year we offer free courses on how to ascend a rope at Michigan Ice Fest. And for more information, you can go to michiganicefest.com.